Good evening. Oh, I'm sorry. It seems like we've spent the entire year taking our mask on and off, haven't we? But good evening. And welcome to the 43rd annual E.B. Williams Awards Ceremony. We're so happy to have you with us tonight. This is our second time of doing it virtually. And of course, we wish we were together. We wish we were at the banquet and had all the wonderful food and got to interact with our friends and our sponsors and our students. But life is what it is. And so we've gotten through this year just as you have, one day at a time. Though we have now completed one full year teaching in a virtual environment, we've still had great success. Our students have still done well. Our students are still moving toward graduation on May 16th. They're still getting internships. They're still getting full-time job offers. They're still getting accepted to grad school. It has been a fantastic year. And tonight, we want to stop, to pause, to celebrate these young men and all of their accomplishments. That is why we are here. When we work at Morehouse, it is to teach these young men to see them move forward, to see them grow. And tonight is when we celebrate that fact. As we start tonight, we're going to start with some welcome comments first. So I'd like to invite Dr. David Thomas, the president of Morehouse College, to speak. And he'll be followed by Dr. Juliet Elu, the Division Chair of Business Administration and Economics, followed by Mr. Cooper, the Executive Director of the Center for Career Engagement. He will talk to us about our Corporate Partners Program and all those companies that have been so gracious in sponsoring us this year. To the students, faculty, staff, alumni, and corporate guests who are tuned in tonight, Welcome to the 43rd annual E.B. Williams Honors Banquet. Our second virtual event in its almost half century of existence. While circumstances do not allow us to be together tonight, the division and the college believe that the achievements of these students must be celebrated. We will never fail to highlight, promote, and celebrate these young men and their extraordinary accomplishments. This banquet started in 1979 in the bottom of Gloucester Hall, the college's administration building. But this evening, it is being broadcast to the world. We thought it has been a challenging year. We know it has been a challenging year. The division continues to make great strides forward, including being the first to offer an online degree later this fall. Tonight, we celebrate academic success as we will honor those who have the highest grades in their respective majors and concentrations. Tonight, we will remember the leaders of this division who built the foundation upon which we stand. Dr. Edward Buchanan Williams led business and economics at Morehouse for 24 years. The banquet recognizes him and the highest honor of the night given to the highest ranked senior in the division bears his name. This evening for the 38th year, we will also remember Dr. James A. Hefner giving the award that bears his name to the senior as selected by the faculty who displays the quintessential values of a Morehouse man, leadership, scholarship, and service. Thank you to the faculty and staff for your commitment to the Morehouse ideals. Thank you to the corporate partners and donors who sponsor not only this event, but the scholarships given here tonight and many other events throughout the year. It is truly a partnership that works well for all involved. But most of all, thank you to the students for giving us trust by selecting Morehouse to be your college and for giving us your best, which is displayed here tonight. I wish you well, and I hope you enjoy the evening. Good evening. Welcome to the Division of Business Administration and Economics. It has been an ongoing season 
of uncharted waters, including the continuation of a global pandemic, uh, economic hardship, and social injustice. We have shown outstanding courage during this universal cause for change and reform. When we unite as one, we can move towards policies that promote healing and harmony around the world. In March 2020, our students were forced to transition uh, into a virtual learning environment. Although the change has not been easy, our students not only rose to the occasion, but they have maintained excellence and performed above and beyond expectations. Tonight, we honor and acknowledge hard work uh, and dedication in furthering their education. The BAE division uh, is renowned as being the hub of uh, scholars and practitioners around the world where innovative quality students with impeccable global and ethical leadership are produced. The academic program at BAE uh, consists of accounting, economics, finance, management, marketing. With the exception of economics, the business programs are accredited by AACSB International, the Association of Advanced Collegiate School of Business. This occasion is named for Dr. Edward Buchanan Williams, who served as the longest reigning chairman of the Morehouse College Division of Business Administration and Economics. Approximately the highest scholarly recognition conferred during this occasion is the E.B. Williams Award. The E.B. Williams Award continues to experience significant growth since its inauguration. This event is one of the signature events of the division, advancing in all facets of the program, including the number of honorary benefactors, scholarships, and internships. We are indebted to our corporate sponsors for their partnership and donations towards the success of our students. Thank you for joining the Division of Business Administration and Economics in celebrating our second virtual E.B. Williams uh, 43 Honors Award. We hope that this will be an outstanding evening for all. Thank you. Greetings and good evening. My name is Douglas Cooper and I serve as the Executive Director for Career Development and Engagement at Morehouse College. We wanna thank all of you, our corporate partners and friends, for taking a moment out of your day to join us for our annual E.B. Williams Awards Program. Tonight's academic achievement celebration and other signature events such as the International Spring Tour, our annual Spring Symposium, are just a few of the co-curricular activities that would not be possible without your continued support. Although we've had to modify or postpone some of these events due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we're confident that as the spring semester ends and the fall semester approaches, we will be able to return to many of our traditional in-person activities in a safe and productive environment. We have been and are continuing to live through a once in a lifetime global challenge. But even with the challenges we've confronted and those we are still facing, we would be remiss if we didn't take a moment to recognize the invaluable and ongoing contribution of our corporate partners and friends. Your support remains a critical resource in the development of our students. I would like to make special mention of JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, the Boeing Corporation, and Wells Fargo, who are our Golden Circle corporate partners. We remain genuinely appreciative of the relationships we have with all of you who have joined us representing some of the world's most successful and global brands. We are incredibly proud of our students who have navigated this past year, which has been unlike any other for our students everywhere and all of us. I think it's worth noting that this event took place last year in mid-May, a short two weeks later, we would all witness the brutal murder of George Floyd. Morehouse students and students everywhere rose to challenge and confront both of these viruses, and we couldn't be more proud of them. We continue to collaborate across campus, working to ensure all of our students have access to opportunities that inspire their intellect and drive them to excel. 
Much of the success realized by our students has been a function of the unique and lasting commitments of those of you here, our corporate partners, and we are determined to continue to build upon these relationships. Again, to all of our corporate partners, please accept our genuine appreciation for your continued support and appreciation. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Thomas, Dr. Elu, and Mr. Cooper. We appreciate those comments. So one of the great joys of my job as MC is I get to announce scholarships. Normally we do all the scholarships after the dinner, but tonight we're gonna to intersperse the scholarships throughout the program. The fun part is these students do not know they're getting these scholarships, so it's a great surprise to them. We're gonna start with the $500 scholarships. We have three $500 scholarships tonight in honor of Dr. Emmanuel Anafati. His family put these scholarships together a few years ago when he celebrated 25 years of teaching at Morehouse College. It is something they intend to continue. The three recipients of the Emmanuel Anafati Scholarship tonight for $500 is Mr. Jordan Sterling, Mr. Roderick Mack, and Mr. Alexander Hurley. In addition, we also have $500 scholarships from Bank of America. A few years ago, Bank of America started an endowment here. Actually, I should say it's over a decade ago. Bank of America started an endowment here. An endowment is the gift that keeps on giving. So all of you who want to donate to Morehouse, please consider endowments. And every year we get to give scholarships in Bank of America's name. We're going to start with two $500 scholarships this year. And those $500 scholarships go to Mr. Ethan Nelson and Mr. Rashad Townsend. It's also my honor to be the secretary of the Beta Gamma Sigma Business Honor Society. Beta Gamma Sigma is the honor society for schools that are accredited by AACSB, the gold standard of business accreditations. Only one third of business programs in the country have this accreditation and Morehouse is one of them. We've had the accreditation now for over two, 20 years since we first got it in 1998. And since then, we've inducted a group of students every year into the Beta Gamma Sigma Business Honor Society. Understand that it is the most prestigious honor that a business student can achieve here at Morehouse College. We induct the top 10% of seniors and the top 7% of juniors. So every year we induct a handful of seniors and then the juniors. This year's seniors inductees are Mr. George Clear, Mr. DeWood Creighton, Mr. Jordan Wardell, and Mr. Malik Wilson. Our junior inductees of the top 7% of their class, Mr. Mark Boldus, Mr. David Brewer, Mr. Chase Burton, Mr. Walter Bird, Mr. Sky Decatur, Mr. Alexander Hurley, Mr. Fito Jean-Louis, Mr. Roderick Mack, Mr. Jordan Ruffin, and Mr. Michael Thomas Loving. These gentlemen will be officially inducted on May 6th when we will do a virtual induction ceremony. But congratulations, gentlemen. It is truly an honor to be a part of Beta Gamma Sigma. And now Dr. Maisha Williams will announce the recipients or the inductees, excuse me, the inductees into Omicron Delta Epsilon, which is the Economics Honor Society. Hello, everyone. My name is Maisha Williams. I'm Academic Program Director for Economics. I have the distinct honor of presenting to you our economics majors with stellar achievements in economics. Omicron Delta Epsilon is one of the world's largest academic honor societies. The objective of this society is the recognition of scholastic attainment and honoring our outstanding achievements in economics. Of the 696 chapters around the world, Morehouse College chapter was established in 1989. Today, we will induct the following men into our chapter. Darion Alexander, Grant Alexander, Gregory Bell, Kobe Brown, Jaden Cody, Devon Ellis, Brandon Falkway, Jarrett Gilbert, Barrington Lincoln, Hermie Mezador, Kareem Michelle, Ethan Nelson, Enrique Pifram, Ethan Schrader, Rashad Townsend. Congratulations, men. You all deserve this. Have a great day and go out and be great. 
Now is the special time of night when we honor the outstanding junior and senior in each concentration. First, Dr. Maisha Williams will announce the outstanding junior and senior in economics. Then I will come back and introduce the outstanding junior and senior in accounting and finance. And Dr. Cassandra Wells will come forward after me and announce the outstanding junior senior in management and marketing. Hello, everyone. My name is Maisha Williams, and I will be presenting our most outstanding junior and our most outstanding senior in economics. Our most outstanding junior is Mr. Jared Gilbert. Jared, thank you so much for your achievements, your tenacity, your ability to stay focused and move forward. Thank you for being the treasurer in the Economics Club, and I look forward to this all to come for you. Congratulations. Our most outstanding senior is Mr. Aaron Talbert. Aaron, thank you for being our Economics Club Vice President. Ever since I've known you as a freshman, you've always given your full effort and always wanted a full mark in every class you take. You work so very hard and I'm so proud of you and I look forward to all that the world has in store for you. Good luck, congratulations. As the Academic Program Director of Accounting and Finance, it is my honor tonight to recognize the outstanding junior and senior in Accounting and Finance. Let's start with Accounting. The outstanding junior in Accounting is Mr. Alexander Hurley. The outstanding senior in Accounting is Mr. Ronnie Crimes, Jr. Congratulations, young men. Again, it is also my pleasure to do finance. The outstanding junior in finance is Mr. Chase Burton. And the outstanding senior in finance is Mr. Clarence Jenkins. Great job, young men. Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Cassandra Wells, the Academic Program Director for Management and Marketing. It's my pleasure to present the outstanding juniors and seniors in management and marketing. Let's start with management. The outstanding junior in management is Bryce Pretlow. And the outstanding senior in management is Jordan Wardell. And now on to marketing. The outstanding junior in marketing is Jordan Ruffin. And the outstanding senior in marketing is Nanya L. Say congratulations to these gentlemen when you can. It brings me great pleasure to recognize two seniors who've represented the Sales Minor Program in an outstanding way and brought us two first. This year was the first time that we've had two students place in a national competition at the same time. These students competed in the Partnering for Progress sales competition sponsored by 3M and hosted by Xavier University in New Orleans. The students are DeAndre Brown, who placed third, and Mark Deming, who placed first. They competed in February. Mark Deming also brought us another first by being the first sales minor student to win two competitions in one school year really in one semester. In March, Mark also won our internal sales competition that was sponsored by Dell Technologies. Congratulations guys for your outstanding success in your competitions and for representing the sales minor program in such a great way. Thank you, Dr. Wells. It's scholarship time again. You may have noticed that the scholarship amounts are going up as we continue through the night. So this is our last scholarship amounts and it is the largest. Boeing gave us two $4,000 scholarships for students who were studying human resources. And tonight the two juniors selected to receive those $4,000 scholarships are Mr. Bryce Pretlow and Mr. Brandon Harness. Boeing gave us an additional two $5,000 scholarships for students who are studying business in general. And the students who received those scholarships are Mr. Alexander Hurley and Mr. Jordan Ruffin. That's $18,000 from Boeing, thank you very much. 
In addition, we want to continue giving out the Bank of America endowment. We have two $5,000 scholarships left there. And those two $5,000 scholarships go to Mr. Chase Burton and Mr. Jarrett Gilbert. That's a total of $18,000 from that endowment. And once again, Bank of America, thank you very much. And congratulations, gentlemen. I know that that will come in handy next year when it comes time to pay in tuition. And I'm sure your parents are just as excited as you are at the moment. Well, it's scholarship time again, so I get to give out more money. To continue using the money from the Bank of America endowment, I have scholarships tonight in the amount of $1,000. The recipients of these $1,000 scholarships from Bank of America is Mr. Ethan Strader, Mr. David Brewer, Mr. Phyto Jean-Louis, Mr. Michael Thomas Loving, Mr. Walter Byrd, Mr. Mark Boldus, and Mr. Bryce Pretlow. In addition, a few years ago, to our great sadness, we lost one of our alumni, Mr. Chris Roberts, class of 2008. One of the classes that he took in his senior year was a class on leverage buyouts taught by a visiting professor here, Mr. Richard Thaler. Mr. Thaler taught the class here for over 10 years. He has become a member of our board of trustees. And upon Chris's untimely passing a few years ago, Mr. Thaler took it upon himself and he called upon the former students who have taken his class and they began to donate money every year in a scholarship in Mr. Robert's name. Tonight, we are awarding four scholarships in the amount of $1,750 in memory of Mr. Chris Roberts, class of 2008. The recipients of those four scholarships are Mr. Jared Holt, Mr. Sky Decatur, Mr. Kareem Michelle, and Mr. Roderick Mack. Congratulations, gentlemen, on your scholarships. And thank you, Mr. Thaler, and all the alumni who have contributed in memory of our friend, Mr. Roberts. Now, so one of the exciting things about this year, but also one of the sad things about this year, is that one of our longtime faculty members has retired. Dr. Belinda Johnson White retired after 27 years at Morehouse College. Dr. Elu now is going to make a presentation on Dr. White's behalf. <clears throat> this evening, we would like to honor uh, one of our eminent professors that retired from the Division of Business and Economics. Uh, Dr. Belinda White, in her 28 years of teaching leadership and professional uh, development, a core course in the Division of Business and Economics that she developed herself, she touched a lot of students. The course specializes in developing personal leadership, personal management, and interpersonal skills through teamwork. Dr. White was the creator of a research-based uh, proprietary Johnson White leadership model that has proven to be the best in the classroom in addressing the challenges faced by many organizations. Her model quickly assimilates emerging diverse talent into the values, perspectives, and competencies of professional culture, including respect for diversity and inclusion, demonstration of character, integrity, and ethical behavior, and beyond the game mindset. During her tenure here at Morehouse, and especially the Division of Business and Economics, Dr. White has inspired over 12,000, oh no, I messed up on this one. <laughs> I have to redo this one. Yeah, I have to redo, redo this one, I'm sorry. Do you wanna? Do? Three, two, one, action. Okay, tonight we honor uh, one of our eminent professors that retired from uh, the Division of Business and Economics, Dr. Belinda White. Dr. Belinda White, in her 28 years of teaching leadership and professional development, a core course in the Division of Business and Economics that she developed herself. She touched a lot of students. The course specializes in developing personal leadership, personal management, and interpersonal skills through teamwork. Dr. White has created the research-based proprietary Johnson White leadership model 
that has proven to be best in class in addressing the challenges faced by many organizations. Her model quickly assimilates emerging diverse talent into the values, perspectives, and competencies of professional culture, including respect for diversity and inclusion, demonstration of character, integrity, and ethical behavior, and beyond the game mindset. During her tenure here at Morehouse College, Dr. White has Dr. White inspired over 12,000 uh, undergraduate students to become 21st century global leaders and change agents. Her presence will be greatly missed uh, in the division and we wish her well as she enjoys her retirement. So on behalf of the Division of Business and Economics, we present this token uh, of gift and appreciation for Dr. Belinda Johnson White. As we come toward the ends of our program, we are at the most prestigious awards that we give. The James Hefner Award, named in honor of our department chair who later became the president of Tennessee State, and the E.B. Williams Award, named in honor of our second chairman who was chairman of this program for 24 years. These two awards will be given out by Dr. Juliet Elu. Dr. Elu? So on behalf of the Division of uh, Business and Economics, uh, our, the moment we have been waiting for, and the winner of the James Hafner Award uh, is Mr. Ronnie Crimes Jr., who is an accounting uh, major uh, in the division. The big award, the E.B. Williams Award, which is truly uh, the moment for the night, uh, goes to uh, Naya L., who is a marketing major in the Division of Business and Economics. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Elu. And gentlemen, congratulations. It is truly an honor to be known as the James Hefner Award winner and the E.B. Williams Award winner. We have come to the end of our night. I hope you have celebrated with us the achievements of these young men. And again, I encourage you as I did earlier, please take time and look through the program that the link is here so that you can see all the things that are being accomplished right now in our business program. It's been an exciting year. Business and economics is moving forward like never before. This fall, we will start our online degree in business management that has been broadcast throughout the country. Thank you for coming to be with us. Thank you for supporting us. Please keep us in your thoughts and your prayers. And I look forward to seeing you next year at this same time, but hopefully in person.